Good morning guys, it's a rainy morning today. Um, we're just making some breakfast here. And now, what else can I make? I'm trying to peel these darn eggs. For some but. reason they're not peeling. I don't know what the secret is, but it's a real pain. It really sucks it's raining. I guess we're gonna go to the store, right? And get some groceries. We can make dinner later. And then we're gonna start our adventure. Rain or shine. Yes. Right? Yep. Right before we got active on the day, we decided to have uh, some breakfast with the boys. Is the car unlocked? Yeah. Well, we're taking advantage of the rainy day and going to the store. I was just making a, a list because <clears throat> I hate walking around Walmart and through the grocery store like aimlessly, so. I'm trying to think about what we really need so we also don't have to go for a few days. So we're gonna go get this over with and hopefully it won't be well really raining when we get back so we can go start exploring again. The trip to Walmart usually takes about 25 minutes to half an hour into market downtown. We've pretty much done most of the shopping that we need for the week here at Walmart. I don't like them. You don't? No. Why? Because they look so adult. What? It looks so adult. You are adult. <laughs> You're almost 40. Young at, uh, young at heart. Warmer shopping done. Heading back to the house, put away some food, and then, um, what next, babe? I'm gonna go to this place called Gibbs Garden. It's like an hour and a half away. We're gonna wait till we get there to purchase the tickets because I guess you have to purchase them online. Because we just want to make sure we don't get there and it's like pouring, so. Fingers crossed yes. that the sun is gonna come out so we can see the flowers. Yeah. What is that? Alright, well packed up. Yeah. Ready to go. Ready? I think so. Alright. Hopefully we didn't forget anything. Let's hit the road. A lot of times when we come to Murphy, we usually hang out in the North Georgia area where we usually find some waterfalls and but this time we decided to visit a botanical garden. Right at the entrance you can see the beauty of flowers and some sculptures. We made it to the Gibbs Garden. Um, I don't know what town this is in. But this is somewhere in North Georgia. Ball something? We'll, we'll look it up. <laughs> we'll, we'll put the asterisk here. Um, this is this is the town. We forgot the name of the town, but this is where it's this at. This garden has different types of flowers and sculptures and some lakes. I want to see that area she was talking about. That. She said there was like thousands and thousands of, what was it, daffodils? I don't know. <laughs> they have fake ducks in the water. It looks weird. There's all types of themed gardens and our favorite one was the Japanese uh, garden that came with uh, lake features and different plants from uh, Japan and some sculptures. This 
is one of the very few gardens that I've seen that is well crafted, like everything is systematic. And this is a private property too, it belonged to Mr. Gibbs, Mr. and Mrs. Gibbs. And the trails that lead you to a different themed garden are so relaxing to walk in. This is so raining. It's raining on my parade. This sucks. <laughs> you think it'll go quick? Hmm? You think it'll go by quick? I hope so. Me too. We're stuck in the Japanese forest. <laughs> so we're in the part of the Gibbs Garden that's uh, supposed to be uh, like a Japanese garden. Didn't you say it's the largest Japanese garden in the US? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. It's a lot of really pretty uh, Japanese maple trees. Yeah. It's cool. The rain is not completely done. There's still some breezes going on, so... We decided to forge ahead. I hope it stops soon because I want to be able to take some pictures here. But it's so pretty. Yeah. And we're going to get wet anyways when we go hiking in the waterfall. So it is what it is. It's all part of the event. When you come to this garden, save at least about two to three hours of uh, walking. There's a lot of trails and different lakes that you can walk in and maybe sometimes even sit down to relax. But Walking is relaxing though. So this part of the garden, that's where we have all the roses and stuff. It's definitely worth a trip if you're coming to just take a walk and relax in nature and stuff. I would recommend if you're gonna come here to go to the Atlanta Botan Botanical Gardens and stuff. I mean this one is more like nature and there's a lot less people, so you're like it's more peaceful. The other one will be have more people, but the flowers over there are like amazing. This garden is definitely perfect for a date. We'll see. Give us a like uh, if you like the video and uh, leave us a comment if you have any questions. And I will see you next time. And for next time, we found this waterfall under a cave. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys. See ya.